We are not happy with the current performances and are considering your position at the club. So he plays new Lacazette and let's conceal the game here. Lacazette with the finish, back of the net. He's celebrating wildly. It looks like this is going to be the perfect start to our run. Tell me what I need to do to save my job. It's nil nil. It's going to be a point. And a point in this series of events right now. That point ain't really good enough. We will give you some more time, but we expect to see you pick up 10 points in the next five games. Alexis through though, and a chance, an offside, a goal. City are back on level terms, and it's Alexis Sanchez of all people that might put the, one of the nails in the Dr. Benji coffee. <laughs> 10 points! Who have we got? Ah, oh, I'm interested. Uh, Time is ticking down to seal the deal. Reese Nelson to make it 3 0 away at Stamford Bridge. The Chelsea team were knackered. They are so out of form, it's scary, and we get another goal and we had another put out another three points to the tally we've got eight now we have to beat West Brom next episode but what a performance in these two games here we go then viewers judgment day and uh, well this now, I've said it a few times, this now could well be the end of the series. We play Wolves and then at West Bromwich Albion. If you've been keeping up with the series, you will know then that we need 10 points from five games. We currently sit on eight, so it is a win or nothing in a home game against West Brom. If we can't win that game, we arguably deserve to go. So, let's kick things off straight away then. FA Cup third round. Bit of a bit of a squad rotation system uh, being deployed as well. A speeder in goal. Bellerin comes back into the side. He's missed a few games recently. And Kimona's been playing. Uh, holding Mustafi. Klanasanak. We've got Xhaka and Cochrane in the middle. Wilshere as the attacking midfielder. With Rene Adelaide on one side. Reese Nelson on the other. And uh, Moussa Nembele comes back into the side. Uh, after we've sort of been playing one striker. He's fallen away a little bit. Lacazette's been starting the course. But Nembele starts today. And these players, in reality, have got a chance here to impress me. And if they play well, we could well see them picked for the game against West Brom in a week's time. So into the game we go. And tension is... I can feel tension. But this, this should be pressure-free, right? Right? So the games begin as they come out of the tunnel at the end. It's two home games in a row, which is always nice. Actually, we've had quite a few games recently that have been tough away games. But we've got a nice home fixture, you'd hope, to, uh, to get us back on track. And we're, we're starting the play with some nice passing. And I think we can all appreciate nice passing now and again. Are we actually going to create a chance from this opening highlight? A tackle's come in. I mean, Wolves are a decent side. Actually, we should probably check just quickly to see as we go on uh, John, John Ruddy's profile. How are Wolves getting on in the championship? Third currently in the championship, playing well. Uh, are, they, are they an informed side? I should have checked this beforehand, really. But no, they're not lost in six, so they're doing okay. Two draws back to back against Bristol uh, City and Brentford. So... They're not banging form, but then again, we've not been in form really all season. This is probably our best run, four games without a defeat. And that's half-time, so... Right, team talk wise, let's say uh, I quite like to stay in the FA Cup. If we can get a goal, it will make us favourites to win. I mean, that's how football works. If you take the lead, ordinarily you become the favourite to win. Um, not always the case with me, though. I could do without any injuries to any players at all. We've actually got an injury to Perisic. I didn't mention this uh, in the very start of the game. Uh, he's out for four to five weeks, won't play the next game, will miss the most of January. Uh, but the fact he misses the next game is going to be. Disappointing. He's been really good since he's come in. It gives us a nice balance on that side as well. It's slightly different players. Obviously, if we'd have kept Sanchez, he would have played on that left side, I, I suggest. I don't think he would have played up front because we'd have had Lacazette there. I may have still brought in one of Dembele or, or Benteke. Probably Dembele. I can say that now, retrospectively. Um, but yeah, he's not quite the same player, but... I think it's because he can play on both feet. He can break down the line if he needs to. He can cut back if he needs to. And speaking of cutbacks, Dembele converts. I'm not quite sure who led it off from. I think it was Reese Nelson. And uh, Dembele gives us a goal. And it's been a good signing, I think. I dare say, yeah, this was Reese Nelson. I think Dembele's been a really good signing for us. You can see from this behind angle view, as uh, the ball's played across, knocked down, the left footed finish, past John Ruddy. And we said before, Wolves are a decent side in the Championship. So to just get past them very quickly, it seems, there's a minute to go. And there's a, uh, there's a free kick in our favour. I assume that's going to be that, though as uh, the free kick's taking a while to be kicked. I've zoomed right out so we can actually see Jack Wilshire because if you zoom in, you don't quite see anything. Wilshire's ball in. I think he was just wasting time. It was about 25 seconds. I just realised I've not made any changes. Then again, this isn't necessarily the first team, so we didn't really need to make changes. But uh, And we've got a week left, so I think we should be fine. But after a busy Christmas period, I wanted to give the boys a break. And uh, Nelson down this side, 20 seconds to go. There could be another goal in this for us, but it looks unlikely. 
it's in the back of the net. Oh no, it's, it's alright, full time. It just it was it was kicked back to him. Anyway, one 0 <laughs> and uh, yeah, we go through in the FA Cup routine. But this is not what we're here for, is it? I'll see you in a week's time. It's West Bromwich Albion. Uh, Jack Walsh is out for one to three days with bruised ribs. Not that long, to be fair, for Jack. And uh, there we are then. West Bromwich Albion. It all comes down to this. Of course, we're in the January window, so if anything happens before that, as time itself is confusing me. It doesn't. The, the calendar doesn't know what's going on. Okay, a little bit of news. First of all, Koscielny's willing to trust me again. So, thank you, Laurent, for that. I appreciate the fact you've... you've you know, come round, seen sense. Uh, and also, FA Cup fourth round draw. We may as well do this live. Bristol will play Stevenage. We won't do this. Uh, uh, there's some big teams left in it. Bournemouth knocked out. Oh, well, there we are. I was literally looking at the teams at the bottom, seeing that it was there. Brighton or Newcastle. So, an all Premier League side. I was going to say Bournemouth knocked out Liverpool. Uh, so, Bournemouth also has seen other big sides. Bigger sides, probably. Arguably. I mean, it's off for debate. A few loan offers for young players that will, uh, will probably just accept most of them. We're doing all this, like, chat and stuff. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there thinking, I've not got another series planned. So, this better go well. What I don't like about this sort of thing is that it's completely in, like, the hands of the players, really. Like, if they don't want me here, if they're against me, they they could just go, let's just not try for a game. New manager comes. Arsene comes back. Imagine if that actually happened. Dembele's injured, so I don't think he'll feature at all in this next game. We would have played Lacazette anyway, but it would have been nice to have him as an option. Benteke, though, he is fit to play, but he's not really an option. Pulis wants to put one over on Benji. Right. Did we, have we played them this season? We played them, and it was a 1-1. Chadley got a goal. Surrey got a goal. Um, yeah, I do recall it, actually. Tony Pulis has been... Uh, I'm going to say, I'm finding it pretty funny, to be honest. That's ancient history to me, but it looks like Tony's still angry about whatever it was. Oh, you bitch. Tony Pulis has a reputation for favouring a more direct style of football, the game knows. He's a dinosaur in football in terms, don't need to read the rest. He's a lot of experience. Well, hmm. some people call experience. I prefer to call it age. Done. How many questions are there today? Do I think I'm showing a lack of respect? Don't think so. Victory could see Arsenal moving to a Europa qualification spot. Is that extra motivation? Getting sacked is the motivation. I'm just going to put that, that's what we're aiming for. Goretz could be for 9 million. We've got offers for a Spina, and considering he's 29 and unlikely to play, I think a backup keeper getting like getting actual money for him, 10 million for him, isn't that bad. I'm going to accept the offers of uh, Zenit and Shakhtar. And I'll probably, uh, either I'll buy one or I'll just promote from the 23s. Noticing now the 23s don't really have any good goalkeepers. Um, look, it, what's Shea Given doing? He's actually he's actually got a Crystal Palace. Okay. Right, well, we'll see if we accept that. Not sure at this stage. Okay, folks, here we go. I've selected my 11 uh, for the game. I think I'm settled on it. There's a few that I think maybe we could change around. In fact, I think Gay should definitely be on the bench minimum. He's been out for a long time, so I don't know whether it's really worth the risk. Anyway, Czech will be in goal. Bellerin, Mustafi, Koscielny and Monreal at the back. Could play Klasnak, but Monreal's done decently recently, so I'm going to keep him in there. Xhaka and Seri in the centre. Ozil just in front with Lacazette up top. And Ramsey keeps that spot on the right wing. Of course, without Perisic, Reese Nelson keeps his spot on the inside forward role. But yeah, Aaron Ramsey uh, on that right wing can be changed in the, at any point for Alex Awa be if absolutely necessary. I'm also going to put Carmona on the bench actually and take out our spinner because it's, it's a goalkeeper. And um, let's see how we get on then. Big moment here, folks. As said before, judgment day. Either we beat them and Salomon Rondon goes home crying or we lose and the, the chair becomes empty again. I'm going to tell the whole team that I have aggressively, not aggressively, I passionately have faith in them and a few of them reacted. So here we go. <laughs> They're walking out the tunnel. It's quite an ominous view can my arsenal boys keep me in the job it's time to find out so with a free kick first action of the game i think we'll probably bring you every single highlight from today as uh we're quite defensive on these free kicks actually there's not much for them to get through uh hopefully it means we won't be counted particularly easily but here they go it's west brom moving with the first action of the game and uh, nasa chadley of course former spurs player so he'll probably quite like to enjoy beating arsenal scored the goal in the first fixture of course and that is not very good sorry goes in on morrison doesn't actually get the ball though morrison comes away with it and uh, we've all gone towards him blimey we had six players around him rondon was very free so far though two shots from west brom as you can see from the recent events both going wide or over. 
Okay, time for some Arsenal uh, possession, perhaps. Of course, West Brom, known for sitting slightly deeper, so as uh, so it will have to drop deeper to maybe get involved as the ball is launched forward to, in hope of finding Rondon. And we're going to have to build again. Xhaka on it now in this deeper lying playmaker role. As so again, if he can find space between the lines, we need to get him involved on this right side now. Bellerin using his pace. Hopefully, he can burst past the defender, maybe get a ball in. Finds Ramsey just ahead of him. Aaron Ramsey plays the ball across, doesn't get to anything, and Bellerin will pick it up. Over now to Xhaka. Seri under his spell once again and uh, there's not a lot of movement in front of him I think that's probably fair to say West Brom doing quite a good job of uh, of stopping the lanes of passing but we find one there Nelson back to Xhaka and it's patient play from Arsenal Football Club Ramsey ball played into the back post Nelson's there and Nelson scores the replacement for Persic it's, a, it's almost surprising that the goal comes from such a youngster but what a goal we've been up to sixth in the league table the ball in from Aaron Ramsey is superb we've put him out there for just that reason he's not the quickest but the technical ability he's got out on that side I just trusted him the cross is sublime the finish is good too and we take a 1-0 lead there's a little bit of pressure reduced but not a lot of not a lot reduced it's a free kick for Surrey now just after this highlight goes for goal oh I thought it deflected in but Foster makes the save and from that free kick it's actually given West Brom the chance to counter attack Chaddy puts the ball in and check claims comfortably don't do that to me ever again and in fact, all from that Surrey free kick, the highlight is actually continuing. West Brom forward again. Rondon in a dangerous position. Petacek saves. We're playing it quite direct when we get it at the back. And I don't think that's wise. But I think we should play it out of the defence, not past in space. But play it out of the defence and um, stick to doing that. Because Czech's firing it up and Lacazette is struggling against the back two of West Brom. There's lots of big players in that back, uh, West Brom back line even. As uh, Xhaka, 25 yards out. Xhaka! Oh my God, he's at the post. That was an unbelievable strike. Is sort of the highlight coming. Reese Nelson on that side. Drills a ball in. It falls. Drops towards Lacazette. But it's cleared eventually. And the highlight is over. Okay. Not long to go before the half-time whistle. And it's us on the ball again. Mesut picking it up. Finding Serie. I think the more goals you score against West Brom, the more they have to come out and not play in such a defensive manner. And that, at home especially, might play into our hands. Nelson's on it, though. Finds Serie on that right side. Uh, and gets it back into the feet of Xhaka. And again, it's patient stuff from us. And it worked last time. Nelson, 25 yards out. Tackle comes in. Finds Serie. We go the other way. Ramsey's got Bellerin for support if needs be. And finds him. Bellerin, nice turn. Lovely turn into the box. Bellerin, back for Lacazette, who finds the back of the net. And it's 2-0. That right side again, the supply line. Ramsey and Bellerin working beautifully together. And Alexander Lacazette, the big-time signing of the summer, has got the goal that could save my job. Hopefully it's enough. Hopefully we don't return with our, our 12 points. I think it'll be our 11 points. And I'll go, it's not enough, sorry. Lacazette with a goal. That's what we're looking for. 2-0 lead and the perfect time to score two. Oh, blimey, Nelson's having a great game. I tell you what, you give the youngster the opportunity to play, and he's playing fantastically. At half time, we go in, Arsenal 2, West Brom 0, and a good performance so far. I think you go passionate with the team talk. Very happy with those things are going. Keep it going. We must not let this slip. <gasps> you should never say things that. Ben, learn your lesson. Learn your lesson. The question now is if West Brom change the way in which they're playing. If they carry on with this sort of direct style, I think at this point it probably suits us. Gives us the ball back. We've had 60, sorry, 59% possession, 60% possession. Been dominant so far. And uh, if we can keep that up, that'd be fine. The time as well is ticking away. There's obviously the argument now to make changes, but I think if we're 2 up, that no one's playing badly, I don't think a change is necessary. I think maybe you'd bring on Gay, maybe for, for Xhaka, and that's about it. As West Brom forward, of course, a draw, by the way. Not good for us as the ball's whipped in. Flipping that, the less of that. I think Czech's actually made the save there, and it's gone for a corner. Corner's be swung in by Chris Brunt. Towards the back post, they get up, and well defended by Xhaka gets it away. Kishani's first to close down. And I don't know if we're going to see much more of this West Brom attack. Ten minutes left to go. Now, this is interesting. We play standard flex. I'm just going to keep, I'm, I'm not changing anything. I don't think a change is necessarily what we need right now. In fact, I'm, I'm changing my mind, sort of. There's not long to go. We're going to make a change quickly. Uh, we're going to bring on Awobi for Reese Nelson. He's struggling a little bit out there. And Xhaka for Gay. Double change. Not long left to go. Wastes a bit of time. I, I, this, was, this was the impossible job right here. To stay here. We're going to be up to sixth position. Oh, don't do this. West Brom have got a chance. Monreal intercepts. I mean, another goal here. And that deal will indeed be sealed. It's Lacazette driving forward. There's four, five or so minutes left to go. 
I'm actually fine with that, weirdly. You can see the time's ticking away. Three, two, one. And there's 15 seconds left. And I tell you what, I bet when this challenge was put forward, you didn't think we'd do it. I'm going to be honest, viewers. I didn't think we would do it. I was planning on what we would have to do if we didn't win the game. But there it is. 2-0. Let's go and have a chat with the board. Whew, dearie me. Passionately say. A nice victory. Well done. And my goodness gracious me. Mission Impossible has become Mission Possible. Uh, reach points target. There it is. The board are delighted to inform you. Are they? <laughs> They're following the promises you made to them. They're now satisfied. You've done your utmost to keep it. They are pleased that you delivered on the agreed points total and are particularly impressed that you managed to exceed their expectations, notching an impressive 11 points from five games. As a result of the improvements you have made as a manager, the board have cancelled any plans to relieve you of your role at the club. Going forward, the board hope you won't give them reason to regret their decision. Thank you very much. It says stable. I cannot believe it. And now we enter transfer window time, which could be quite exciting. I'll say Chamberlain, we might get some money for that as well. Um, this could be fun now. We've got options in the transfer market. We need to try and push back into those Champions League places. I mean, the best player interested in a transfer right now, or in terms of value at least, is Emil Forsberg from Abel Leipzig. As you can see, there's not a great deal of talent that's interested in a move. Mark Albrighton's on the list. And I will say that's a bit... Uh, why are we only... Why is our... No, no, no. Let's go for the world package. Does that change anything at all? I've gone for the world packet. I think, come on, we're, we're, we're big boys now. We'll get a world youth one as well. Just pile it on. But that then is going to bring us to the end of a very stressful run of games. Five in a row. Ordinarily wouldn't have done that. Uh, next time we meet, we'll do it towards the back end of the transfer window. Transfers might have occurred. Is there any like area in which you think we need strengthening? Let me know in the comment section. And be honest, did you expect me to do it? I wasn't sure. <laughs> I really wasn't sure. But that is going to bring us to the end then. We love with care. Three minutes spending. Until next time. Who knows what could happen from this point onwards. Goodbye.